What's up, Laws of Mods fans? This is Zach, and we have got three super awesome controllers to preview for you today. Uh, the first is a Texas Longhorn theme. Um, you may notice that we had done a, another Texas Longhorn theme that was actually heat sensitive. Uh, the handles on the left and right handles actually had uh, black heat sensitive paint and when it heated up it actually faded into a Texas Longhorn emblem. And uh, Kyle ordered that controller, he got it, he loved it, and he actually wanted another one that wasn't heat sensitive. Something, you know, it's just really clean um, and I think that's what we've got for him here today. Um, as you can see guys, I'll zoom in here so you can get a good look. Uh, this controller is just awesome. You can see just how perfect everything looks. Uh, you know, it goes from the burnt orange to the real glossy black in the middle back to the burnt orange. Um, we've got the black Xbox 360 thumbsticks, the black uh, directional pad, the black ABXY buttons, which are super glossy and press, you know, very easily. Let you hear that. Um, we've got the LED start and back buttons, which are orange, and which the coolest part, I think, on the controller is this logo illuminating guide button. Um, you've seen us do the logo illuminating guide buttons before. Uh, normally we do it all black with the uh, logo part that's actually clear and it's the part that glows. This one we've done a little bit different. Um, as you can see, the whole guide button is clear and the logo this time is black. So it's sort of a reverse option. You do have that option with us. Um, all you have to do is when you place your order, uh, you have an option to describe how you want your guide button. Uh, just so you know, you want the reverse of you know what we normally do, and we can do that for you. Uh, we also got the clear bumpers and triggers with the orange LEDs in those. So uh, we got the glowing bumpers and triggers. As well on the back here, as you can see, we've got the uh, burnt orange into that same black in the middle, back to the burnt orange. And guys, just something to point out on our controllers, um, we do know how to paint and uh, when we say something is symmetrical and we see other videos that, of controllers that aren't symmetrical, we get really, um, I guess, say embarrassed, uh, you know, for, for those people. But if you look, you can see that our black fades exactly on the front and the back of our controllers and then they fade directly front to back on the bottom so it's the same mirror symmetrical look back and front it's really hard to do that's why you don't see it done a lot online we do know what we're doing here and uh, you know that just goes to goes to show you that we do know what we're doing um, staying with that theme that we know what we're doing one of the hardest paints to work with and you can ask anybody that has painted before um, is to work with pearls, flakes, uh, or like candy colors. And for this controller, we've got a combination of just all three. Um, our good friend Travis lives just right up the road here in Virginia. Uh, he saw the Ninja Turtle controller that we've done for Kyle or Mr. Technical Difficult, and he absolutely loved it. Um, so. You know, him, him being the great guy that he is, uh, we wanted to hook him up with something different uh, that nobody else has. So on this style Ninja Turtle controller, I'll put the battery pack on and turn the controller on here. As you can see, the uh, bottom LED is flashing there. 20 mode rapid fire installed in this controller along with the red and white to go with the green, red and white Ninja Turtle theme. Um, but like I said, this controller actually has a pearl and candy coat color on it. So when I zoom in here, you can just see how deep the color looks on this controller. Uh, you, you know, you can see the fluorescent lights here at the store. Um, you know, the ABXY button, you can see around those. Clear is absolutely perfect on this controller. Something else to mention uh, that we do, and like I said, this was an Ninja Turtle controller, um, it just doesn't have the colors. What we've done for this controller was what we're going to call the ghost effect. Guys, if you, if you want a logo that's full color and you just want it to be ghosted on a controller, sort of like this, this is what ghosting is. Um, as you can see, it's just the logo that's really bright and then it just fades out into the black and then back into the same color as the controller. So it gives a really nice effect, something uh, you know, that's really hard to do, like I said. Um, and this is just, you know, something really special that we uh, did for Travis. So 
Uh, with that said, we've got the black ABXY buttons, uh, as well as the black directional pad, black starting back, black bumpers, and black triggers with the black bottom insert just to tie in all the colors. Um, that does it for that controller, and now we'll probably get to one of the cooler controllers that we've done here at Laza Mods. And the actual order that we've got for this controller was um, a blue flame inspired controller. Um, along with that, our customer requested that we be creative with the flames, which tells us, you know, he just he doesn't want, um, you know, just the standard flames that you can find anywhere painted on the internet. Um, we want to be unique with every controller, and we want to be different and do something that's not been seen uh, before online. So, with this controller, we've got this one pretty much decked out with LEDs. Uh, as you can see here, we've got just a crazy uh, color changing guide button, and I, hopefully I can pick it up if I zoom in here. As you can see, um, it's I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce the actual symbol that's on the guide button as well as the ABXY buttons, uh, but from what I can gather, um, it's sort of like the New Orleans Saints logo. So um, I think it's actually a French word, and guys, I didn't take French in school, so I don't know how to I don't know how to say it. If you do, maybe leave me a comment in the section below and I'll try to correct that. Uh, but like I said guys, we've got this cool blue flame all over this whole controller, front and back, and you can just see that it sort of just fades up from this LED insert. Uh, we have KSI over here on the left handle that is just sort of blended in uh, along with the pearl and uh, the gloss look that's on this whole controller. As you can see, it's sort of like a ghost flame uh, with the KSI logo that's just sort of blended in really nice there. Uh, we also have the white bumpers and the blue LED triggers on the back. Um, like I said, it just ties in with the blue flame that goes throughout the controller. And actually guys, if you look up here in the white, um, there's even a color shifting blue uh, that you can see when the light hits it. And just, uh, if you get this out in the sunlight, you can definitely see it. Um, the fluorescent lights really doesn't do it justice here. Uh, but you know, once you get this controller in the sunlight, just the whole white part just turns all kinds of shades of blue. Um, something else to mention, guys, uh, along with the you know the cool paint jobs, the cool paint themes that you see us do uh, here at Laza Mods, um, we also do a lot of LED work, just like you see on this controller. Uh, it's really hard to find anybody online uh, that can do the paint, the quality of paint at that uh, that we do, along with the LEDs. Um, so, you know, if you're wanting LEDs and paint, we're really your only option. Uh, it's, hard, it's, it's really um, hard telling how many people online can say that they can paint with an airbrush, and I won't get into that. Uh, I've got a couple videos explaining why. Uh, you know, yes, we do use an airbrush, but that's not solely what we use because that's, airbrushes are for detail. Um, we see all the time online, oh, we use an airbrush. Oh, you didn't use an airbrush, so you're not a custom controller company. Um, guys, 90% of good quality custom orders on anything, cars, controllers, anything that you order, as long as it's fine detail, yes, you use an airbrush. If not, you'll use a spray gun. The reason they don't use a spray gun, they don't have the equipment, don't have the facility, and that's it. Uh, but guys, like I said, uh, we've got three awesome controllers, and uh, you know, uh, if you would like to order, Check us out right here online, www.lazamodz.com. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash uh, as well as Twitter, twitter.com slash uh, We hope to be hearing from you guys soon, and uh, everybody have a nice day. Guys, if you've watched this whole video, uh, we've got a little bit of bonus footage here. As you can see, uh, this is one of our drying racks here at Laza Mods, and you can see we've just got all kinds of custom controllers uh, that's already dried and ready to be assembled. So if you see your controller in here, leave us a comment in the description, or uh, leave us a comment down below, and uh, we'll make sure to tweet at you and send you a finished picture along uh, with your Twitter account. Um, in one of our next videos or next tweets. Thanks guys.